Friday night, March 7th, 2014. Right? Yeah. Um, Dot Lot, Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. It's our first live performance and art show extravaganza. Extravaganza. Uh, so we kick it with the carnies Top of the morning Wake up, you're snoring Alarming Well fed, still starving Take what we want So we never say sorry Outcast So we kick it with the carnies Top of the morning Wake up, you're snoring Alarming I, I pretty much just show up and rap That's, that's pretty, much I, pretty much what I do the, the man behind it all is this man right here. Right, right, right. right. I, actually, how it is is like I say, hey, this is what I'm thinking, or this is what I see, or whatever, and he brings it to life. You know, I moved back here, kind of wanted to focus on music. Uh, I've been making music since we were, I was 16 years old with a friend, couple friends of mine, and uh, moved back to, to do this and kind of brought us together and brought us the path we're on. Um, I've grown up an artist, I've, I've always been interested in art. A long time I did nothing with my life and then one day I woke up and I was like I'm just gonna do this and I decided I was gonna do music and try and act and become a tattoo artist and paint and uh, all my dreams are coming true Dumb boosting adrenaline, venom in the blood, no match for the medicine. Pedal in the cure, got caught serving felonies. 25 the life, these bars sing my melody. Stop to so, the beat. long story short, I bought the phone booth just because I wanted a phone booth in my yard as my house phone. Uh, my contractor, Justin Green, was came over. And I'm like, hey, where do you go to the bathroom? And he's like, in the woods. And I'm like, dude, build an outhouse. I want one anyway for when people come over and stuff. And uh, he's, he was installing this for me. And he said, wouldn't it be cool if that was the outhouse? And then I went and I thought about it for a long time. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. Do it. I, I gave him the wooden stuff, the, the old ammo boxes. That's what they are. Bought a couple of things. Do it. Then I started thinking about that post secret book. Uh, Jeremy Wolf kept talking about it. And then how the people were mailing the confessions. So then I'm like, I'm gonna try and get people to call this thing. So I made business cards and I'm dropping them. Just in a week of promoting it on Facebook and a couple people sharing it, I've had over 2,000 calls. And it's going in all these weird directions. I started taking notes and I think I'm gonna write a book about it in the future. Well, that shit's visionary, man. Yeah. People want it's the new Catholicism. Yeah. People want to confess to something, but they don't believe in God anymore. And so, why not give them a fucking phone booth and let them let them talk? You know, I think it's brilliant. It's not attached to anything. There's no theology. There's nothing heavy there. You know, call it and talk, and we'll we'll make beautiful books out of it. Uh, I think one year after it's live, one year we take the very best of the phone booth and we put it in book format. Uh, it's, I mean, it's inevitable that it'll blow up. It, it, it'll be beautiful. People are going to call up with incredible stories. True, not true, fiction, non-fiction, and it'll be amazing. is black and that's not yeah, the future is black we and this ain't even about getting rich this is just about passion. everything we're due is passion yeah. and leaving our mark and when we're old it might just be something to look back on and was like we did something we just didn't sit at home watching television